Hi, my name is Kaylee Glass, and I want to welcome you all to our version of JAM. I want to thank you for celebrating our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, with us this Sunday. And I know this time is tough with everything going on, but I want us to focus on the greatness of God and all the positivity in the world right now. Our leaders have worked long and hard to find ways to stay connected during quarantine. Here's how. Our youth officers created a TikTok account that you can follow at user Brentwood Youth. Every Wednesday at 6 on our youth Instagram account at Brentwood Youth, different people will be holding a Bible study called Limitless via Instagram Live. You can also subscribe for text alerts from Reverend Frazier. Now we'll have scripture and prayer from Dorleon, mime from Braylon, and the word from Reverend Frazier. Hi everybody, my name is Dorleon. I'm going to scripture and prayer for you. I hope you're doing fine during this time in quarantine. Hope you're getting closer to God. Um, scripture is, don't panic, I am with you. There is no need to fear. I'll give you strength, I'll help you. I, your God, have a firm grip on you and I am not letting you go. Isaiah 41 verse 10. And please bow for a moment of prayer. God, thank you for this day. Thank you for letting us all be here today, celebrating you and trying to get closer to you, God. Thank you for all the doctors and nurses that are trying to help with corona. Thank you for everyone that is here with, with you, God. Thank you for um, letting me be here and praising you, God. Thank you for just letting me wake up this morning, be able to be on this live with you, God. Thank you for Ms. Servant Frazier for getting us all out and be able to still connect with you, God. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.
can. After you've done all you can. After you've gone through the hurts. After you've gone through the After you've gone through the pain. Someone to help you through. Yeah. Yes, Lord. And you tried, and you tried with all your mind. Prayed, you cried, you prayed, you cried. Prayed, you cried, you prayed. Yes, God. After you've done all you can, there's nobody else to tell your problems to. Nobody else seems to be able to help you. After you've gone through the storms, yeah. after you've gone through Hallelujah, 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 and thank you, Braylon, for that awesome rendition of Stan. The Word of God is so true, and he has given us promises that we can stand on. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for this time together, and we pray, O oh, Heavenly Father, that you use me, that I may spread a word to our young people, Father. We thank you, O oh God, for your love and for your grace. And may the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in your sight. This morning, our scripture will come from Joshua 1, 7 through 9. It reads, Be strong and very courageous. Be careful to obey all the instructions Moses gave you. Do not deviate from them. Turn it either to the right or the left then you will be successful in everything you do. Study this book of instructions continually. Meditate on it day and night, so you will be sure to obey everything written in it. Only then will you prosper and succeed in all that you do. This is my command. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Just for a few moments today, I want to encourage the youth of this generation to level up. Life is filled with many challenges and disappointments. Sometimes things seem so bad that we just want to give up. Discouragement sets in and we begin to think, what's the use? Why bother? Nobody cares. But in spite of what's going on, we do not have to feel defeated. We can learn from our circumstances, grow, and actually overcome. If you've ever played a video game, 
You know that players advance by conquering each level. Each level offers a new set of challenges and new experiences. The battles you encounter on level two are more difficult than the ones on level one. While you might be able to use similar strategies on each level, you must also develop a new set of strategies in the order to move to the next level. We spend hours captivated on conquering each level. So it is with the game of life. Just like a video game experience, God is challenging us to level up in our Christian walk. If you stop to think about it, you are already prepared for this season. For most of us, we are trying to learn and adapt to social media and technology. But you have not known a time when social media or technology did not exist. You are already prepared while the rest of us are trying to learn and understand. You are ready, so don't be afraid to step up and stand on God's promises. In our text today, God has given instructions and promises to Joshua. Many of you may recall that Moses was called by God to rescue the children of Israel from Egyptian slavery. Joshua was born in Egypt while his people were in bondage. He assisted Moses during the 40 years that the Israelites journeyed in the wilderness. Now Moses is dead, and Joshua is being asked to lead the people into a new place. He is faced with a new challenge, taking the Israelites into the promised land. He had gone through the wilderness. He trained with Moses, so he's familiar with the task. But now he's moving to another level. His future is full of uncertainty. The one thing he could hold on to and count on was God's promises. Like Joshua, young people, God is calling us to take our relationship with Christ to the next level. We can no longer pretend to be Christians. We have to get real about our walk. He wants us to trust him and stand on his promise. The Bible says in our text today that we are to meditate on the word day and night. In other words, stay faithful focus, study, and focus on the Word of God. God is saying to you during this season, focus on what God is saying to you during this season. This does not mean that we are to be so holy that we cannot live and interact with others. He wants us to be that light for Him on earth. He wants us to be the reflection of Him on earth. We have got to be able to show Him to the people who are not saved. He is calling you, our youth, to take a stand, to take this generation to the next level. God has promised that he will be with you always. And just as he told Moses and Joshua, Jesus promises us in Matthew 28 and 20 and Hebrew 13 and 5 that he will never abandon us, but he will be with us always. His promises are true. He's got us. We are struggling with a new normal. School is different, graduations are delayed, virtual or no proms, even church is different. Trying to do normal things in a different or new way is intimidating. For many of you, the task of online classes can be overwhelming. Online classes require that a lot of discipline on the part of the student. Students can no longer just go to class, but you have to really study at home and get the work done. But remember God, but trust God and remember that he will be with you through this process. He will give you the wisdom and knowledge that you need to overcome this obstacle. He has already prepared you. Now, technology and social media has become more than a pastime activity or just being in the mix on Instagram and Facebook and TikTok TikTok and Twitter. Social media and technology must become the tools and resources that will help you in your academic pursuit. So use the vehicles that God prepared for you. Use social media, use technology, but discipline yourself. And you say, how do I do this, Reverend Fersia? How do I go to the next level? How do I discipline myself? Three things. First, you must grow. Grow in your understanding. Proverbs 4 and 7 says, wisdom is the principal thing. 
Therefore, get wisdom. And with all you're getting, get understanding. Just as in the video game experience, you become a conqueror once you develop the understanding of the concept. Once you understand how much God loves you and cares for you, you will begin to have faith in his plan for your life. This requires discipline. Discipline requires self-control. Studying the word of God, listening to what he's saying, trusting God through the process, knowing what his promises are, and standing on those promises. He will grant all wisdom and knowledge that you need to be successful in this season, but you must trust God. He has told us in Philippians 1 and 6, and I am certain that God who began the good work within you will continue this work until it is final, finished on the day when Jesus comes. Whatever the plan or process that God has already started within you, know that he will complete it if you trust him. In our text, secondly, learn to lead. Everyone is a leader, but not everyone can lead. In our text, God tells Joshua to be strong and courageous. He will be with him. In other words, you got to be strong right now. This is not the time to be timid. This is, not the, this is the time to take it to another level. You've got to stand on his word, stand on his promises, and level up. You can't be weak because God is not weak. Your God that you serve is a powerful God. He has given you that power. The day that you accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, he empowered you with his spirit, and you just need to tap into that power and take it to the next level. So be strong in his word and speak the word. And then be courageous. Be bold enough to tell others about Jesus Christ. Be bold enough to take your academics to another level. This is not the time, young people, to be lazy. This is not the time to be lackadaisical. This is the time to take it to another level. This is the time to give God glory and praise for the power he has given you, to thank him for the power he's given you. This is the time to level up. You know that in our communities, we are always challenged. This is the time that you need to show all just how awesome you are, how great you are, and that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. That when God created you, he created someone special. You need to show the world by taking it to the next level. Let them know that you are strong and you are courageous and you are a child of the king. Third, observe and obey. When you are leveling up, just be careful to observe everything that God is doing in this season. And then when you then do what he's telling you to do. When you do so, you will find, as Joshua says in 1 and 8, that you will prosper and have good success. That does not mean that you will not have problems or that the battles will go away. But God will sustain you through all your trials and tribulations. We must begin to look beyond the surface to see what lies beneath. We cannot do that if we're angry and resentful about the things that are going on. When our hearts and minds are closed, we miss what God is trying to show us about in this season. We can see cl things clearly, more clearly, when we take our focus off ourselves and our limited resources and begin to focus on the limited power of God. You see, we can see that God loves us so much that he chose to send his son Jesus to take us to the next level. Through the blood of Jesus, the enemy no longer has power over us. He is able to help us overcome any challenges and move to the next level. That's the message for today.